welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're doing a, a bashing session with our XXL2E. Got it back on the road. Uh, it's actually running 6S right now. drivetrain here and we've actually been having some issues we've had axle nuts fall off and I actually I think uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and address this issue before we run this any further um, we've had the, the grub screw on this let me just get the axle turn around here we've had this fall out a number of times they're you know loosen even that we uh, use Loctite on it um, so even though we use thread lock, it uh, that's, that screw is still backing out. So we switched uh, from the the, um, the blue Loctite uh, to the red permanent Loctite, uh, which requires some heat to remove. Um, unfortunately, we're we're still having an issue here where the the um, the dog bone end of the center drive shaft is uh, is popping out. Um, of the 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 drive cup here so we we've moved the drive cup pretty much as far up as we can and i think the issue might be uh, at the top of the drive line here and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over you know where the the drive shaft goes into the front there um we had loctited that down um that grub screw but maybe we need to actually adjust it view this here Maybe we need to actually adjust it and pull that drive shaft out of the, the cup a little bit on on the differential end. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to run this more uh, with, a, with a drive shaft popping out of the cup. It's not going to be good for parts longevity and whatnot there. So, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.